Welcome back to Catch Up Gaming. Uh, we're doing another Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney playthrough. This time we're going to be starting the trial of the Steel Samurai. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at the Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly state if you will briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain it with the guide with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, and the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All of the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged into the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Mm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? Uh, no, thank you. That was long-winded. Uh, I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Oh my god, look at her eyes. Your name, please. Oh dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. It seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. So just call me Grandma. Even when I was young, I'm an old back, so the other children would make fun of me. Uh, believe me, uh, okay. I'm gonna give up on trying to say, like, her, her when she goes on a rant. I think I'm just gonna leave it, because I don't make no sense. I can't follow her. I don't think it's you're supposed to really, like, read it out loud It's or, or read it in general. It's just, you get the gist of it, and it's just, like, ramblings. Uh, objection. I... 
object to the witness's talk talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. On the day of the murder, I arrived to, guard to the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through since in the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was nine. It was one, one o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then till five. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right past me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, I arrived at guard station at 1 p.m. Coral Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through since the morning. I well, I had some errands to run that morning, so what what are you doing in the morning? What kind of errands? Oh well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers, observing, you know. Observing? Were you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you that I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run-through too. You quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was the main gate from there until five. Let's see, did you have any intermissions between them? Between them? So you were watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Of course, I'm a professional, you know. Or are you criticizing on how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time, you know? Whipper, snipper, whapper? Snipper, whapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. You sure you saw him? And not... To someone in a costume? So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your ear, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. It was Powers. That man right there and he was heading towards the studio. Nope. I don't think so. Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been, you've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this, exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Tokyo, Defender of Neo-O Tokyo, Ms. Olbag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Um, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. 
true, Mr. Powers does play the role of Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I... I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Uh, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. <laughs> However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Huh. Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow. Old Wimbag has left even Edgeworth sleep speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Hmm. So he had a sprain in his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press, I'll press her until she squeals. I never say anything I don't mean. That morning, there's a run-through of the action scene. Oh, broke one of the props. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. The samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room after to. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus, the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. Are you absolutely sure? Let's take a look at that picture again. Uh, so he was walking strangely because he was injured. You know, it doesn't really look like he's like dragging his foot or but more like there's it's like a shorter legs or they're on like I don't know, like, like, the, 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 the pants are, like, dragging on the floor, right? Like, they're on stilts or something. See? And you didn't trust me, whippersnapper. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Still, you can't look at this and say it's Mr. Powers. Yes, but only Mr. Powers would have been dragging his leg. He has a point. It does seem quite likely that it was Powers. There's got to be more to this. I better keep pressing her. Okay, I might, did I miss something? This is one of the earlier ones. Are you glaring on this? I'm pretty sure that Powers is in that video. I guess I'll just press her and see if I can shake her conviction. Okay. Alright. I haven't said anything yet. Well, how do you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs? Everything I say is on the straight and the narrow. Up and up, youth states. Okay, Rance. 
Yes, you're right. Please, for all our, all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. Okay, yeah, that's not... Oh. Mr. Powers' his ankle badly sprained. Not so badly... Okay, no, we did that. I think we've heard enough. Heaven, we, your honor... There's one thing that bothered me, which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Um... Hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure? You're sure, your honor. No, I'm objecting to that. I don't think so. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else, not caught on camera, could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30, true? The only person I saw go into the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Huh. So, if no one else went into the studio, then it would have been the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Alright. No one else, huh? I'm, I'm... Well, we know that photo was... One of two was like photo number two. I wonder if it says... Uh, not this one. See, so yes, that's photo number two. So there's definitely someone before him. The studio before then was Mr. Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Okay, no one else went there, but... Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes siree, sonny. So whenever anyone passes by, it, automatic it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right, anyway. It's also true that the computer at the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know. If you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words. October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number 2. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that it's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that two... This evidence shows that not one but two people went into the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of those photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Eh? You wash your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Mr. Was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, uh -huh. I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! Huh? Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. 
Huh. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something that matter? Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right. I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, yes. I suppose, if you, you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other, than, one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Oldbag, this is the first time I've heard of this. Well, of course, honey. I only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. One of the job to do, I go through the photos recorded on the security photo and check them. How many photos are there, usually? On a day when we're open to the public, we get more than 500 people. But on filming days or rehearsal days, well, we don't have much money. We never get more than 50, and that's a big day. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photos, did I? I think she's missing the point. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai's fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a second, didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Where Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Yeah, we saw that. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studio that, that day. One was, a, one was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy looking in to be about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type he's there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Huh. I assume it'd be hard, even if, if impossible, for a young boy to wield a samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick? What's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Mr. WP? Yes? 
Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who was the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner in the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. Sniff. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could have conceivably done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Sniff. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, we present the prosecution's thought on this matter. The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Mm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts. The defense disagree with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed the crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the crime? The assistant girl, the security lady, the great school boy. Honestly, they all don't seem likely. Um, I guess maybe this grade school boy. It was the grade school boy. Why isn't anyone saying anything? Oh no. Bah. Are you seriously suggesting the boy did it, Mr. Wright? Grade school boy kills veteran actor, kills ve veteran action star with spear. For one thing, it was the steel samurai holding this murder weapon. Would you care to explain just how the boy was involved? Maybe that was a dumb move on my part. Maybe? Maybe? How about absolutely, Nick? Yeah, okay, that was stupid. Okay. I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. I don't know. I just don't think... Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I know. I guess maybe the assistant girl then. Okay. Who's a person other than Mr. Powers? The assistant girl then? It was the assistant. The steel samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got some guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo. Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, uh oh, bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury. She doesn't know. Okay. Is Olbag then? Is Olbag the, the 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 killer? Whoa! I I really don't remember this stuff. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the Steel Samurai look with that costume, but she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai walk. She would have. She wouldn't have limped. Ugh, that kind of takes some legs out of out from under that case. Okay, I get a penal I get penalized again. Uh, okay, then then it's old bag, huh? I really didn't think it was her. 
It was a security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was the suit in the suit knew about the morning's injuries. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? Whippersnapper? Like, she has no motive to kill Hammer either because she, like, idolizes him, right? I don't know. Or maybe, oh. Maybe he was in, like, the Steel Samurai suit. And then she thought it was Will Powers and then she killed him by mistake. I, I don't know. It seems kind of like a stretch. Is this true? Old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. This old bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other, in other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai's costume. Then slipped into stu Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she would point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see, excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here, Sherlock Holmes number two. Baby. That's odd. Isn't this part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and a new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole, the whole way. Press further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Power a suspect in this case can be used to cast a doubt on Mr. Obak's action on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of those subspects. one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went into the studio? The boy, the one who, whose photo I erased. He's, an only, he's only a grade schooler, though. As you said, second and third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in 10 seconds, tops. Huh. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy's not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Or, is it to be nice to the kids and meet your elders today, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? Indeed? Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed the murder? Uh... Breaking the shaft in the middle. Okay. Car key for Grand Central Studio. Maybe he doesn't have the car key to get in. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. However, a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Would the witness care to comment on this? Huh. The wind back. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend, suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... What was her last name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off breaking up, barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. Oh great, stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? I 
you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By who? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been in a studio that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's the real murder. It's not Old Bag. Miss Old Bag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Cross okay. Alright. He cried about something, there were some of the people in the studios that day. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through in their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map... Oh, it is. Here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was has fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Yeah, let's keep going. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? Soul bag, this is a trial for murder. I know that's silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus, and you still talked. Huh. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Is, it, is that, is he like, is that a hint saying like, I should give it a rest, or? Let me just pretend they hadn't seen, this, they hadn't been at the studio that day, but if you're going to accuse me of not letting them get away scot-free. Okay, maybe we'll press this and then see what she says. So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they had heard about the murder, they beat, they beat it before the cops came. Rumble, I'll kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth, almost. She really left him hanging on this one. If you're going to accuse me, I'm not letting you Okay, I think that's it, like there's not much. Them. Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. Oh, okay, we, we, already, we already did this. So that's it. Okay, okay, okay. There's really nothing much. Let's take a break. Nope. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at the Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and er, some big wigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to, to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these people we have just been told of. Uh, I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceeding. This ends the day's proceeding in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned.
Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really, it's nothing. Grin. Or should I sniff? We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get the material for cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that steel costume? Have we figured out just who it was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do, neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a little bit to take the pressure off Mr. Power, Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, or with my accusation, or with or without my accusation. Accusation. So let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Alright, so that concludes the first trial portion of this episode. Uh, I'm going to end it here and continue the next one in the next episode. Uh, this episode has been a little bit tough on me. I've made some mistakes, I know. Um, but like I said, I really haven't played this game in so, so long. I really don't remember much. It's kind of like a semi-blind blind going through, right? So that's kind of the fun of it. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.